Can everybody hear me? Okay, this is great. Okay, um, hello everyone. As you can see, this talk is about the hiragana and katakana characters in Japanese typefaces. So we would like to introduce ourselves first. Him uh, is Osamu Torinomi. He's a general manager of GU Kobo and a type designer. He has contributed to over 100 Japanese text typefaces and art directed the Hiragino series and U Fonts Library. Torinomi has won various awards for type design, such as the 2002 Keinosuke Sato Award, the 2005 Good Design Award, and the 2008 Tokyo TDC Award for the Hiragino font series. He is also a jury member of the Tokyo TDC Type Design Prize, the Morisawa Type Design Competition, the Fontstar Type Design Contest 2016 in Beijing, and an educator at Kyoto Seika University in Mojijuku. I am Reiko Hirai, um, a Japanese typography <coughs> consultant at Monotype, and I initially studied Japanese typeface design under Torinomi. For this bilingual presentation, I will deliver the English part. I would also like to extend our special thanks to Hisashi Iwai in the audience, his support in the preparation of our presentation. So, before we begin, some terminology. In this slide, from the top, we can see kanji, hiragana, and katakana. This presentation will particularly focus on how Hira, uh, sorry, Torinomi approached the design of the hiragana of Mincho style, so the second one. So let Torinomi begin with this topic. What is Mincho style? Torinomi, please. Thank you. In Japan, the basic style of Mincho is Mincho. Mincho is the え、え、電子書籍も含め長い文章においては印刷物も全てえっと民調体が主流です。In digital devices nowadays, you will find more more low contrast typefaces similar to sans serif. Even so, long texts of printed books and e-books are still commonly set in mincho. 日本の民調体のデザインは特殊です。ご覧の通り、漢字、仮名、オーブンで混色され、しかもそれぞれ様式が異なります。Japanese mincho is a particularly challenging because Japanese is a combination of four different scripts kanji, hiragana, katakana, and Latin. Each of these have a different typographic styles, which gives mincho its unique identity. Kanji wa hangi ni haiku horu tameni tanjun kasareta kikangoku teki na design de ari, sore ni taishite kana wa mouhitsu gaki no you na yuki teki na design des. Mincho style kanji was first designed in China for printing blocks and the elements were simplified to make it faster to wood carve. In comparison, hiragana and katakana are both referring to the natural written form by a Chinese calligraphy brush. This means that two different tool references coexist in the same text block. このようにデザインに統一感があるとは言えませんが、これは日本における歴史的な文字の成立と密接に結びついたデザインであり、民調体の最大の特徴です。これによって私たちは文章を把握しやすく、120年もの間、長く使い続けられているのだと思います。Mincho has considerable variation in the visual texture of the characters through the connection to the tradition and development of the Japanese script. This makes Mincho style the most readable style for Japanese long text for over 120 years. This is perhaps because the constituent scripts are initially consistent with respect to the roots. 日本語を書く場合、ひらがなは最も使用頻度の高い文字です。加えて、日本語を表記するために生まれたのがひらがなであり、日本人にとっては極めて重要な文字です。従って、書体の良し悪しはひらがなの出来栄えにかかっていると言
ひらがなは9世紀頃に女性によって生み出されました当時ひらがなは和歌に代表されるように恋心を言葉にするために生まれたのです当時の女性は右手に筆を持ちその筆先に願いを込めて文字同士をつなげ切ない言葉を表現しましたそれがひらがな史上最も美しい連綿体の上代を奏です Around the 9th century, hiragana was first developed by women for writing poems about love. Women in those days wrote with a brush, right handed, passed on her sentimental feelings of love by making the brush carry her emotion and continuously spell her words. These letters are called Jodai Yokana, which is considered the most beautiful hiragana ever. Minchou Tai no hiragana no katachi wa kore ni tan o h a s h i m a s 明朝体の漢字に合わせて正方形の活字にするために連綿を切り離し一字一字に文字になったものの右手で毛筆を使い縦に書く基本は踏襲されていますつまり筆を使い線に強弱を与え感情を込めた線を表現することがひらがなの普遍性を保つ上で大きな要素です現在は手で文字を書く機会が減りまして日常において毛筆を使うことはほとんどないのが現状ですが私は普遍性を担保するためにいまだにできるだけ筆で文字を書くようにしています。The hiragana of Minchou style also has roots in this Jodai Yokana. Even through the continuous strokes of hiragana were cut off when it was、um, cut into letter blocks, the right handed brush stroke essence still remains, which means giving emotional contrast to the stroke by using a brush is extremely important in a Japanese typeface design. Every day we are writing less and less by hand, and in Japan, the use of brush of everyday writing is much diminished. However, Tori no Umi uses brush as much as possible for his designs. Hiragana を作り始める前に、民調体における漢字、ひらがな、カタカナ、アルファベットの大きさと太さの関係を見てみます。これは、本文書体で組み半したときに、濃度は漢字に対してひらがなが少し弱く、カタカナが少し強く、アルファベットは感情よりも強く見えるようにデザインしていますそれぞれの文字を並べたのが図です大きさは大きい順に漢字、ひらがな、カタカナ、アルファベットの順です太さは太い順にアルファベット、カタカナ、ひらがな、漢字の順です Now let's return to this slide and see the relative sizes of each script and how the darkness of the characters is controlled For a Minchou text typeface, size-wise, from the largest It's kanji, hiragana, katakana, then Latin. But in terms of thickness of the strokes, it's Latin, katakana, then kanji. Sorry, Latin, katakana, hiragana, then kanji. The other way around. The size, the size and thickness hierarchy is what Torinomi t h i n k is the most suitable for main text setting. さて、ひらがなを作る際、デザインの前提となるのは漢字です。漢字は画数が多い文字であるために、極端な太い線のデザインはできないなどの制約がありますそのためまずは漢字のデザインを確定してからひらがなの制作に取り掛かります You usually have to start by determining the design of kanji because kanji have so much variation in stroke density and therefore does not provide much flexibility to the designer After determining the design of kanji you get to start designing hiragana 太さは先ほど言ったように漢字を基準にしていて漢字に対してやや太く、黒みはやや弱くなるようにして、ひらがなのデザインを始めます。As mentioned earlier, you use kanji as the standard thickness. ひらがな should be slightly thicker than kanji, but the darkness should be even. いよいよひらがなを作り始めますが、下書きから仕上げまでの説明が終わった後に、短い動画を,動画を見ていただきます。So, there are different ways to design Mincho style hiragana, but today we would like to show you how Tori no Umi designs them. We will first describe the process, but you will see a movie of the whole process later. さて、えー、私の場合は、下書きは20ミリから30ミリのボディで、ボディの中に鉛筆で書きます。今回は30ミリとしました。ここでは、ありがとうと書きましたが、この方が言葉として見られるので、最終形をイメージしやすいのです。漢字よりもやや小さくデザインします。So, Torinomi first sketches in a 20 to 30 millimeter square, imagining how it will look in words alongside other characters. Torinomi considers that this first step is important, otherwise, you get lost in the details of the letter forms. For this presentation, Torinomi designed the letters Arigato, which means thank you. Hiragana is designed smaller than kanji because with fewer strokes, Hiragana ends up looking huge next to kanji. 
鉛筆で下書きをする際は、えー、後で筆で書くときの筆の入り方、筆を運ぶスピード、力の入れ具合などをイメージしながら書き進めます。ひらがなをデザインするとき、最も重要な要素は骨格と鉛筆です。骨格はひらがな、えー、っとひらがな誕生の歴史を知ることによって、基本的な骨格を理解できます。When sketching by pencil, Torinomi tries to imagine the rhythm of the stroke in stroke, out stroke, the speed of movement, and the pressure of the brush. The importance in designing hiragana is to consider, consider the inherent shape, stroke, and rhythm of each letter. Your skeleton must be aware of the history and process on how kanji characters change its shape to what it is today. Your stroke rhythm must be based on the natural shapes created by the brush. 例えば、ありがとうという5文字がありますが、りとうは縦長で、とは小さくデザインするというのが基本です。つまり、歴史を学ぶことと経験が普遍性の高い、読みやすく美しいひらがなを作るための重要な要素となります。If you look at this example, り、the second letter, and う、the third letter are oblong, と、the fourth letter is small. This is according to the inherent shape, so again, it is important to be aware of the background of hiragana development in order to design the forms that appear natural. Hiragana にはアルファベットのようなラインはありません。あるのは四角いボディだけです。私の場合は文字の重心を揃えることを考えます。上下左右の大きさはボディの中では自由ですが、骨格の基本を頭に置いて調,整調和を意識しながら書き進めます。Hiragana presents challenges to the typeface designers as there are no defined alignments like those in other scripts. Within the singular guideline of a square which encloses the form, there is considerable variation of form. Torinomi will focus mainly on where each letter should sit to make them look aligned, and he will also have in mind how the skeleton and the stroke with them should flow. Then the letter's shape will balance themselves. Subire des. えー、下書きのイメージに従あ沿って、えー、と筆先に思いを乗せて墨と筆を使って書きますただ筆で書いた時のリアル感が重要だと思っています輪郭がガタガタしようが墨がはみ出そうが構いませんそれらは後で修正すればよいのです Torinomi will now ink the sketch by using a brush It might be bit, a bit difficult for the first time but he will try to make the brush carry as much of his thoughts as possible The important thing here is not to make it perfect calligraphy, but to get the natural elements shaped by the brush. 仕上げです、えー。下書きのイメージを具現化させる作業です。ガタガタした線、はみ出したところ、形が気に入らないところなどを白のポスターカラーを使って修正します。When finishing up the sketch, Torinomi stabilizes the image of his typeface. He will also whiten the unnecessary elements with a poster color and clean up the sketch. えー、これはブラッシュアップです。30ミリの大きさで細かいところを仕上げるのは無理があるので、私の場合は電子コピーで50ミリに拡大し、そこでさらにブラッシュアップします。After Xerox copying and enlarging the finished sketch to 50 mm square, Torinomi will finish up making the base of his hiragana. その後、このアナログ文字をスキャンしてアウトライン化します。そしてフォントにしてテスト組み版をして修正して完成となります。この工程はどこの言語も同様だと思うのでここでは取り上げません。ひらがな、カタカナ合わせて約200字ぐらいになりますが、えー、制作期間だけで3ヶ月ぐらいかかります。After this, the final drawing is scanned and converted to outlines, typeset, revised and finalized as a font. ひらがな and カタカナ as up to about 200 characters and this is done roughly in three months. ではここで実際に私が文字を作っているところを見ていただきます。4分ほどの動画です。Now we would like to show you a movie of the very first stage of Torinomi designing letters.The movie is about four minutes. So this is him sketching.
he's trying to compare the size and thickness with the kanji. And now he's inking. Of course, this is four times faster. <laughs> <laughs> Now this is Xerox copy and made enlarged and into 50 millimeters square. And this is the final drawing.以上、え、本文書体において重要なことは普遍性が高いことです。そして読みやすく美しい民調体の可能を作るためには、最近私が思っていることがあります。それは個性と経験ということです。日本には書は人なりという言葉があります。自らの手で筆を持って文字をデザインする以上、レタリングといえども個性は出ます。その個性は生まれながらに持っているというよりは、今までの人生によって培われて
and to experience writing and drawing letters by hand. It seems that the digital age has brought to us fewer chances to write the letters physically, but the warmth of handwritten letters is an important element in the design. For type designers, writing with their own hand is the only way to keep themselves aware of how the letter forms developed. In Japan, there is a saying, writing represents yourself. As long as you write or draw letters by your hands, it's you. It has your character. So you're actually not born with this, but you cultivate it as you experience writing and drawing. This cultivation is often called identity or character. But for Torinomi, characteristic is something to accept, but not to be exaggerated. You try and try to take out as much of the character as possible, and it's still there. What's left in the end is enough to be called an identity of a typeface, because what you design always contains an essence of what you really are. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.